know, you can tie any tube pattern on a Warrington. But they're made much the same way. Good layer of silk down there. Ready. Stopping about oh, an eighth to a quarter inch from the, the jaws of the vise. Because I'm going to put a tag on this. Nowadays we put tags on all the Warringtons. Flat's over. Trying to keep it everything as smooth as possible. If you're tying it a vet, I mean this is an inch and a half Warrington. Now it can be made up to about two and a half inches, which is about fifty-five millimeter, which is a big, a big fly. You could always put a an underbody down before the silver of uh, white floss. This on the bigger one, Tim Jim, or on this one as well? No, just just to bulk the body up. And it would be safer if there was any small gaps between the tinsel. You wouldn't the the, the white underbody would disguise it. But the Warringtons are they're, they're much slimmer, and the the Warrington fly is much slimmer than the tube. You can al also weight the Warrington shank just by wrapping a piece of lead wire, tying in a, a section of lead wire before the before the, the silver tinsel. Five or six turns, depending on, on the, the length of the Warrington. Uh, normally, it would work in two, but if not three small bunches, it's easier. You're not sure. You can usually tell once you've tied the first bunch in if you're going to need another one or another two. Same length. Yeah, a nice tapered head. <coughs> Just take that out. Again, I'm going to crisscross it. Again, holding that shank very tightly, Jim, with the pressure you're putting on. Yeah, just in case it snaps. <laughs> 